The Menominee River, a river of beauty, recreation, and commerce. For years, the Menominee River has been a source of economic growth in Wisconsin. Unfortunately, over the years, pollution, including coal tar, began to threaten the fragile ecosystem of this important riverway. This site was contaminated with coal tar. Of course, you couldn't see it, but it was down here in the water below us. And actually, when people would put boats in, you would stir that material up and look pretty nasty. In the area that we're standing on, uh, it was within close proximity to the surface. Uh, this area was probably one of the worst areas, and we went from a three-foot depth down to in some areas 12 feet to remove some of it because it was concentrated in a couple areas. Over the years, the buildup of pollutants finally reached a level where the river was listed as an AOC, or Area of Concern. The DNR and local governments of Marinette, Wisconsin and Menominee, Michigan set to work to address the river's problems. Local residents, including many longtime river advocates, formed a local citizens advisory committee to help guide the effort. The neat part for me is that it's a, a committee of citizens of the community. We have a balanced committee in our approach where we have both industry and, um, and public service and public and DNR committees on it that have membership on it, and we all work together to try and get the problem corrected. The CAC was eager to begin restoring the Menominee River, but first they needed a plan. The Remedial Action Plan, or RAP, is basically the blueprint that we followed that has the issues of, in the river identified that we work on cleaning up. This blueprint outlines actions needed to clean up and restore habitat in and along the river. The first step was to remove coal tar and other contaminants from the river sediments. Well, Wisconsin Public Service came in and developed a plan to clean up the coal tar in the immediate vicinity of Nest Egg Marine as well as the city's uh, launch ramp. They picked up the cost of doing the environmental cleanup. Uh, they also picked up and assisted with redevelopment of the shoreline and with the additional funds that I provided, we ended up with a very beautiful shoreline between our business and the business immediately downstream of us. We've received a very positive response. Um, for the most part, people trust us to do the right thing. And th that really goes a long ways towards making this kind of project successful. I would say the group that is the most interested in it are obviously the folks who use the river, the boaters, the fishermen, people who have a vested interest in the Menominee River. Uh, the Menominee River has been an industrial river for more than a hundred years. It's relatively clean, it'll now be cleaner. It is used by fishermen and boaters and folks who just want to be out there enjoying this beautiful scenery. Working through this process is going to make that atmosphere even better. And we've got something I think that we can definitely be proud of. There is still work to be done to fully restore the Menominee River. However, a plan is in place, partnerships have been forged, and most importantly, progress is being made. It's win all the way around. This, the, there are no detractors from the situation. I think that it's, it's only positive. We're looking at habitat improvement, better quality for the people who live around here, the contaminants are missing. I think it's great. For more information or to learn more about the CAC, contact the Wisconsin DNR.